Shiki, shikiriki. Ah, breathe in the beautiful air. Feels so good, yes? Mm. Feeling alive and connected today. The kiri shikia aha. Wanting to connect with you from my heart and share with you. Ah, breathing into myself, wanting to share with you kiri cha aha, all that I am. With the kisuti aha, I say unto you, mm -hmm, great spirit, you are present, yes? Aha. Mm, being present, being here being heartfelt, wanting to share with you and connect to you, wanting to help you in practice, in purpose, in your everyday state of being. <sighs> coming to live now, coming to light, wanting to connect, being here and being present. So some of you have met me, my channeling work, maybe some of you haven't. Sending this video out into the world, sending good energy and wanting to share with you the energies the kisutsu kwa aha the current feeling and connection that is present today being told to share with you today tsukiya aha so i've had people in my life guide me be present and ask questions how to channel how do we connect? How do we understand, feel, and know spirit more? How do we connect with our gifts? That's not another question. How do you know what your gifts are? And a lot of people really rush this part, I believe, really wanting to connect, wanting to know their gifts, wanting to hear their guides, wanting to channel. Coming to me, seeing the work I've done, and wanting to know the kisutsukuruko aha. How are you able to access this information? Sukukuruko cheki kia aha. How is it so natural for you? The kisutsia aha aha, and arriving upon the conclusion and knowing because the kisutsia aha. Ultimately, this is the truth of who I am. So this video today is dedicated to understanding the energetic truth of who you are. So understand that there's a process involved in discovering this truth. Many of us want to connect, we want to know, feel, hear, spirit, and we kind of do things backwards, right? So we want our gifts. But what book, what is the becoming, you know, what, what comes before this? Understanding that there is a part of us that needs to silence out everything else that is a distraction. Now for some of us, this is an impossibility, right? How can we totally silence our lives? And it's not about taking everything out. It's about gathering the strength, the courage, and the will to breathe within and to create a space and a connection and an intention for connection. So this is very important, and this is this video's intention. I want you to have intention in your life. Intention and the connection, the desire that is part of intention and connected to intention, the heartfelt connection to desire and your intention, meaning your energetic will, because that's what intention is. Intention is your energetic will. When you have an intention, when you place an intention into something, essentially you're placing your power, your power, your God source energy, your stamp, if you will, your energetic will goes in that to, in, in, into that intention. So part of the channeling work I've done and continue to do through Amana is understanding energetic intention understanding how everything is energy and understanding how the work and the progress and the desire to learn and grow all leads to our ultimate one which should be to discover your energetic truth and to discover that which you already know so understand there's a desire to want to connect to want these gifts but before that we need to honor intention so a good intention for today if you're feeling confused if you're feeling unclear if you're wanting to really connect to source energy and wanting to further your work part of that will be letting go and part of that will be creating an empty space within where you can do this work from because if you want to do the work to connect to source 
the kishikira aha as I connect to Amana, kikuruko aha, knowing in with, within my heart that I am that. What are the steps or the measures that I will have to take? Tikusuruko aha to remember, kikiri kia aha. One of the steps that I feel is helpful in knowing your energetic truth, essentially knowing really what you are feeling and tuning out is tzitzikia aha external influences. So this becomes important. Step number one, how to eliminate external influences. Set an intention and you can say it with me now. Although you don't have to say that part, for that's how I connect. I set an intention to clear my energetic space and know now that the energies on earth are very much in alignment to do this work, that the veil is thin and we are allowed to do this work. Many of you are awakening to this work into this possibility and to the heart calling that you are part of this work. So now, setting an intention. I intend to connect to the truth within me. And I ask that all external influences that limit this truth or confuse this truth be cast into the light. So you can feel the power of this intention, intending to connect to your own personal truth. And in that truth, imagine yourself surrounded in your own light and know that the world can be a confusing place. There can be a lot of energetic influence, not your own influence, not your own energy, the collective consciousness energy, others' energy, the feelings that you have from the loved ones in your life. So stepping into the light of your own truth and asking and setting an attention to further the work you do, the more specific and clear you can be in the work you do, the quicker you can reach clarity and awakening, the sooner you will experience joy. Setting the attention to clear out anything that isn't yours. So we're going to breathe into that. I breathe into my own power. I connect to my own truth, imagining it as a light in your body, in your heart or your solar plexus. And I breathe out all that isn't mine. I set an intention. And this intention is to connect to my own truth and to let go of any external influences that are not mine. Anything that does not belong to me, I let go. It is the key aha step number two of this process is not only to trust in the space that you've created, but to feel into the space as well. So as soon as you set the intention to let go of what no longer serves you, you're going to create a space now for receptivity, for information, for wisdom, for divine connection, for you want to connect. That is your intention. I want to connect. So after I breathe into letting go of external insistence, excesses and influences step number two I create sanctuary within I create peace I create an emptiness in my belly in my heart and you can envision it this way an empty space reserved for connection anytime you meditate anytime you want to connect to source you create this emptiness and this emptiness is not a sadness this emptiness is a return to fullness. Understand, if you want to be full, yes, you must be empty. Kiri kia aha aha, taking in breaths to prepare you for out breaths. Ishi kisi aha taki aha, feeling into step number two, creating this empty space. Ishi kuru kusutsete i kia aha aha, imagining it like a sphere in your belly, completely empty. And now step number three ah, should be about receiving. Aha, aha, feeling into the space you've created, always through feeling and through breathing. 
Iji Zutsuko Tsu Aha. Now imagine yourself connected Iti Aha through a tube of light. And your intention for this step can be I intend to receive Iti Ki Aha Aha Aha, that which belongs to me. And truly stepping into my own energetic power, I am connected in this moment now. Step number three is about connection. Sikia aha aha. Step number one, releasing external influence. Step number two, creating a space for your own influence, your own power, an empty space to receive. And step number three is for receiving. Ah, iki iche kuru kuru tsuke. Hmm. Iki ya. Hmm. Mahiki yitsaka. Journeying now to step number four. Honoring the work you've done. Makikiri ki utsuku. I honor the work I do. aha. Any work I do is done from a place of joy. Aha, knowing that joy, makaha, carries me further than anything else. When I do things out of a place of joy, I am doing things at a faster vibration and it feels so good. It is a pleasure to do this work. I honor myself for all the internal work I do. So this is just a sample of a simple process outlined in simple steps. Step number one, breathing out any external influences, knowing that this whole process is aligned with intention. You're creating an intention in each step. When we do work and meditation out of a place of intention, our work is more guided. And we are in alignment with connection. We are less scattered. You can set an intention for anything you want. Clarity, focus, clear vessel. And this will help you connect and help you discover your gifts and help you to channel. So there's no real way to say, boop, you can channel, right? But there is a way to help you prepare. So always through intention, breathing out external influence, knowing that everything is energy, knowing the more you understand energy and the way that it flows and the way that it's designed, and then incorporate those principles in your life, the easier it will be for you to understand why you are feeling good and why you are not. And how it will help you connect to feeling good. Removing external influence, creating a space of emptiness. Connecting in that space, honoring the emptiness to receive the fullness. And then honoring all the work you have done. This is what this video has been about. I hope to make more. I hope you enjoyed it. You're always welcome to come to my channeling where we will learn from each other through mana, kichia aha, through me, through you, where we will channel where we will receive teachings, messages, kikiraha, through light language and sound healing, to the ha healing to help you raise your vibration, a kikirikia aha aha, and discussion, mitikirikia aha. Thanking all of you, aha, for being part of something so beautiful, this beautiful day, this beautiful earth, the ki aha, sikia aha, hoping to connect with you again. Through messages, ikia, aha, aha, feeling beautiful, wonderful, renewed. Hope you're feeling the same. Hope this helped to connect to your practice. Ikiri, aha, tsitsiki, yaka. Ma atei shukurukutsu, ta, aka. I am here. It's a kia, aha. And I am well. Thank you. Maha kiri, aka.